What's up? Welcome back to Miles World. So I had a question that turned into a few steps, which eventually ended up in a whole experiment. Can you sublimate on Model fabric? Well, I accidentally purchased a 50% cotton and 50% Model t-shirt, and I needed at least 50% polyester. Sublimation works best on anything 40% or higher in polyester. 100% polyester with light white color will give you your best sublimation design. The way sublimation works is it, when you heat up your design on your polyester, it forms a gas which bonds with the polyester fibers and dyes your polyester fabric into with your design forever. No matter how many times you wash it, it won't fade, it won't peel off, it's that way forever. So what is Model fabric? Model fabric is biofuse spun beech wood. They're able to make that into the Model fabric and combine it with 50% cotton and create a t-shirt. So I looked all over, I couldn't really get any answer other than what Model fabric was. So I put my question to the test. As you can tell, I have a shirt here that I sublimated on, but the design is very hard to see. When I first sublimated it, the design was wonderful. After washing it, it faded it away. So I got to thinking, is there a temperature and a time that would work even after washing that Model fabric could sublimate on? Go ahead and watch this video to find out if you can sublimate with success on 50% cotton and 50% Model fabric. Okay, so here are the materials I use. I will link them below. A fast run through is a sublimation printer, the sublimation paper, my laptop, butcher paper, lint roller, and some cardboard. And I also have a measuring tape. So I went ahead and printed my design. And as it's printing, I prep the butcher paper by cutting it in half. And then I go ahead and get the t-shirt prepped. I like to get the wrinkles out by ironing them. And then I use the lint roller to take off any debris before I heat my design on. Now I'm just measuring out where I'd like my shirt to be, taking the heat resistant tape to hold my design in place when I go to heat it. I also decided this time around to go ahead and try some cardboard in between it because the first time when I used, um, when I used the butcher paper, I could see the outline of that. So I wanted to see if this, this same outcome would happen if I use cardboard. This first time you can see the design appears very nicely at 350 degrees for 40 seconds but after washing it that's when I decided to come up with the test of can sublimation work on model fabric but what temperature and what time would make it work or can it work? So I took several mini Bigfoot images and tested them at different times and different temperatures to see if I can make my experiment work. The remainder of the video, I'm going to go ahead and try to speed up, but you'll get the concept. I'm just placing them down for a certain temperature at a certain time, which I, at the end, you'll see I keep track of writing the temperature down and for how long I had it on there for. After conducting the several tests with the different temperatures and times, my conclusions find you cannot successfully sublimate on model fabric. Eventually, it will wash out and fade away. When it comes to sublimation, stick to at least 40% polyester and you'll be safe. If this video was helpful for, to you, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for coming back to Mouse World.